In this video, I'm going to be building three epic battles from famous movies. To begin, we're heading to a galaxy far, far away, where of course we can find a ton of different battles, but today I'm going to be building Scarif. For this, we're going to take our two grey base plates, add in a semicircle beach surrounded by water, with tons of foliage on top, mixed in, in the foliage, of course we're going to add a bunch of palm trees. Now with the plan in place, it's time to get building. I began by working on a substructure using colourful bricks, laying down blue plates, getting lighter as they get towards the island to represent the depth of the water, ensuring I was able to still separate this in the centre, as I've got some big plans for this moment. Mark. Beginning with this first half, I then started to cover the island, hiding all of those colourful plates, using wedge plates, starting with dark tan for wet sand, leading into light tan for the drier sand. I filled in the centre section, having the areas that would be pathways using more tiles for more detail, but with the areas that would be covered in shrubbery, I left them with more open studs to attach the plants. With that done, it was now time to replicate this on the other side, making my way around and filling in as much as possible, ensuring all the dark tan plates were overlapping onto the transparent clear tiles. Okay, so we've run into a small problem, I'm out of the small tan coloured tiles. Don't fear, we've ordered a load of those they should be arriving very soon so I'm gonna take a break from this section and work on the water now I was thinking how cool would it be if we had some speeders hovering over the water here it would allow me to have some really cool techniques with the waves and stuff coming off of the water and so that's what I did I decided on a position for the speeder and used transparent clear and transparent blue cheese slopes to look like waves in the disruptive water this just left me with one thing to do with the water and that's the monotonous job of covering the entire area with transparent tiles but I've got to say it's pretty satisfying now I'm still waiting on those tiles to finish off the sand so let's begin on one of the most iconic parts of Scarif the palm trees. I'm going to be using a technique with these round 2x2 two two tiles, threading a flex tube up through the middle. I've got to say this is way more fiddly than I'd imagined, but it created these nice bendable trunks that look relatively realistic. I added upside down bush to the top and then used a snot brick attaching life preservers in brown, which will connect to the leaves. I had a few stability issues and had to go back through and fix a lot of these problems, but once I had the design down, I replicated this for as many trees as possible, adding in some variety occasionally and playing around with the designs. With the trees finished, I then removed them, marking where I wanted them placed in the mock, filling in the missing tiles, and then I began one of my favourite parts of lego building foliage i really wanted to replicate the dense shrubbery we see on scarif so i combined a bunch of different plant pieces and techniques to create these small islands and pockets of plants leaving room in the middle of course for the battle to take place speaking of the battle i then picked out a handful of rebels to go up against the empire i armed them with custom blasters and posed them in the mock then for the Imperials, I'm using the Rogue One style of Stormtroopers as, of course, this is a scene from Rogue One, of course I had to use that style, and mixed in a bunch of Shore Troopers. I'm so glad I could finally get a good use for these really rare and expensive figures. I posed them in action scenes in various different positions, and mixed in a bunch of crates to add a more battle feel. Now with this mock finished, I'm really happy with the way this came out, but we can't stop here. I have lots more cool things, including the next step, which is packing this up, as this is only a small part of a giant, larger scale Scarif project that I'm doing with some of my friends. If you want to see the full project, stay tuned to the end of the video, but that's just the first of three three massive builds that I'm doing for this video. So if you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. But let's move swiftly on to the next movie, Avatar. I feel like not enough people have built custom mocks for the Avatar theme in Lego. And I think the final battle from the first movie would be awesome to see replicated. So let's get started on that. I wanted to incorporate both the land and the air. And of course, really get the feel for the floating hallelujah mountains that we see in the scene. With a very, very rough plan in my head, I got building, grabbing two green base plates and firstly building up this larger rocky area over to the right, using a ton of different pieces and techniques to create a really nice rock work effect which will really come to life when we add different plants vines and more islands later on i made small plans for where i wanted other sections and islands to go filling in the center of this massive island and then getting to work on other sections i basically want to have areas of islands and rocks poking up through the clouds so we're using a black tile effect to make it look like just the surface of these rocks are poking through i feel like i got better and better at creating these islands as we went through adding different vines holding them together and even adding a touch of green grass on top so now with the main bulk of the floating islands done now we've run into a small problem which is the lack of the tiles that we need here so we're going to wait for those to come in the meantime i'm going to grab all my avatar one sets pick out all the best plants and foliage and start building up this area here now with some more ideas of how i'm going to build the shrubbery i went ahead and built up this section on top adding a clearing for where some of the battles going to take place then grabbing some plant pieces from the sets as well as a load more from my collection i started to work on the very unique and interesting foliage that we see on pandora working my way around the clearing i really had to use every bit of my brain to work out what different pieces would look great as plants even using a few minifigure heads accessories and much much more to gain that really dense plant effect and I've got to say I'm happy with the way this top area turned out I even added plants onto the edges of the rocks poking out into the void as well as of course loads more plants and vines on this front side I wanted to keep this nice and low so you could actually see what was going on in the battle but I still wanted to have some plants on this front section now I wanted to have one of the SA2 Samson gunships flying in towards the island but I just don't really like the way the Lego one looked so I picked up this amazing custom version from Brick Vault if you want to get 15% off Brick Vault instructions you can use the code Brick and fix 15 they make some phenomenal
phenomenal things from Star Wars to Avatar to much, much more. And I've never had a bad experience with them. So this is a beautiful, beautiful model. And it definitely costs less than I thought it would. But I think it's going to look really, really good posed here in the mock. You can see it's a lot bigger than the Lego version. And we could fit a lot more minifigures in here. But whilst I was building all of that, the tiles finally arrived to finish this off. I quickly covered up the rest of the green base plates. And I literally only just had enough tiles to finish this area off. I've just got to hope that I can pose this kind of fragile custom gunship onto this tiny little stand. So, okay, I don't even know how to hold this, but we're going to try and hope that that's around the center of mass. All right, as you place this down first, hopefully this will balance. Let's see. Okay, okay, that was way better than I expected. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we've done this before, but now we've got to add minifigures, so yeah, we might have to remove it again now, but at least we know it works. Now, I did contemplate using the Thanosaur that we see in the set, as I do think it looks really good. However, I wanted to have the AMP suit in here as well, and there wasn't going to be room for both of them, so I decided to get rid of this guy, and instead, I wanted to mod a little bit of Quaritch's AMP suit, because the weapons in that set just weren't accurate, so I built up a really cool custom gun for him. I think that looks pretty accurate to the scene. Now, to pick up our minifigures for the battle, we've only actually had two versions of the military human, I bought a second version of Quaritch, swapping the head out, and used a few Endor Rebels to create a couple more minifigures we can add to the mock. Speaking of Star Wars, we used a couple of pilots, adding on these breathing respirators to be the pilots of the Samson. I grabbed Neytiri and a couple of other Navi minifigures, and it was finally time to set up the battle. I added the pilots and a couple of gunners into the gunship. I'm still so surprised at how well this stands up on the stand, I really thought this would be way harder. <laughs> I added Quaritch to his AMP suit and posed him on the right hand side, positioning another soldier with a gun, and adding in a Navi throwing a spear, one with a bow, and one on top of the AMP suit trying to hack his way in. I really wanted to give a feel that they were being attacked from every angle, both the ground and the air, and give a real hopeless feeling for the Navi. So let me know what you think of this mock, and whether you think these Navi are going to survive. But let's move swiftly on to our final build, which is from another one of my favourite franchises, Marvel. So the other day I built the Sanctum Sanctorum in one of my other videos, and I had a real urge to take it to the next level. And of course, there are a bunch of famous battles in Marvel, such as the Endgame final battle, but I thought, why not switch it up and do the Infinity War New York battle outside of the Sanctum Sanctorum, and really take this set up a notch. First thing I had to do was raise up the Sanctum as this will come really in handy later with adding details and also enabling me to add a street that's slightly lower. I then transferred the lower layer and all the tiles onto this new mills plate and then with that done there was one bit that I really really hate and that is this back alleyway. I really wish Lego had added something into the set here but I guess this enables me to do something cool. I remember watching a video from Stonewall Bricks a few months ago where he put a small apartment on the side as a nod to the original Sanctum Sanctorum set which had a similar thing so I built up a nice dark tan building trying out a few things changing things up and finally settling on this design which I think came together pretty well considering I only had about six studs to work with. Then my attention turned to this small back section, which I still hadn't finished. So I used various different tiles to create a broken street effect. I then added the trash can and a few cardboard boxes that we see in the set. Now it's time for the bottom floor of the small building. And just like Stonewall did, I'm gonna be building the pizzeria on the bottom floor, similar to what we see in that old Sanctum set. I added a black and white tiled floor, adding a pizza oven, a counter, a chef, and a happy customer who's always looking for an extra snack. Adding back in the exterior of the building, it's time to work on the level up, which again is gonna be Peter Parker's apartment. I built up a small desk with a computer and a lamp, adding a chair, a bed and a bedside table and then for this top section there was a small cutout on the floor that I had to leave because of the sliding mechanisms in the sanctum so I turned it into an empty attic with a bunch of cobwebs. Now back to the battle itself. For the street I took this road plate from my Lego city connecting it to the base plate and with our New York street created it's now time for the fighting. I went back in ripping up a load of the road adding in as much destruction and damage as I could posing this destroyed jeep off to the side of the road with Ebony Moore leading the invasion. Speaking of the old sanctum I bought this massive big fig called Cal Obsidian who's leading the charge with a bunch of Chitari towards our heroes. Speaking Speaking of them, Doctor Strange is facing off against one of the Jatari, Spider-Man is swinging in, Iron Man is propelling himself directly at Ebony Moore, Wong's at the back here about to summon some spells, and Banner is trying his hardest to turn into the Hulk. Now with the final battle done, let me know what you think of all three of these mocks. As promised, here's a sneak peek into my larger collaboration build. If you want to see more of that, I just posted a better overview on my second channel, SW Extra, so click here for that. Let me know what movies I should tackle in part two of this video, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next one.